What comes to mind when one thinks about music these days? Well, there are always pros and cons to things, but what really stands out here? And I always wonder, is there more to music than just entertainment and expression? My name is Rachel and I've always been in love with music. Its beauty and splendor blows me away every time and I believe there is just so much power and love in it for mankind. Living and experiencing music in the 21st century, I realize that there is just so much depth to music that we have to discover. I'm on that journey and I call it Music Back to Basics. Music is part of what makes the environment that we live in. And so, we know that music exists in all cultures and societies, amongst the young to the old. And to each person, music is defined differently depending on the way music was given to them. How were you exposed to music? How was music given to you? Both my parents love music, so I grew up listening to the music that they love, and I was just surrounded by it. When I was in my mother's stomach, uh, I really loved music and uh, I responded to music. It's not about money, money, money. It's not about money, money, money. I was introduced to music when my parents sent me for piano classes when I was about four years old, but I grew up playing music in church. <laughs> How do you think music started? To me, I think God created music. I think music, the start of music, probably from naturally occurring sounds and rhythms. And um, yeah, I think humans just try to recreate that. And it's, it's like, I love, I love the beach and I love water and, and you just listen to it. You can't, you can't really describe the sound. It's just, it's so beautiful. It depends how you define music. I think music is basically anything around us that sounds nice. I think anything around us that sort of, any sound around us that speaks to us. And I think it probably began when people during prehistoric times, um, you know, heard the sounds in nature and, and decided that, uh, or, or rather they discovered that there was another way of expressing themselves apart from talking. And I think, yeah, it probably began that way. <laughs> To try to define music would be a very ambitious endeavour. Like I said, music is defined differently depending on the way music was given to people. Perhaps there's no harm discovering how music was given to mankind. Let's go way back to when it all first started. Many agree that music began even before man existed. It is also said that we were exposed to music before seeing the world as we listened to the rhythm of the pulse of our mother's blood in her womb. There's no records on how exactly music began, but it is known that the music we hear today was started out from trying to imitate sounds and rhythms that occurred naturally. So I'm here with a bunch of friends away from the hustle and bustle of the city and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves in a position of the early humans, you know, the Paleolithic people, and we're going to just empty our minds out of the music that we've been exposed to, and we're going to try to be inspired by the sounds of nature, and you know, maybe listen to the birds singing, or, or yeah, and we're going to try to make music out of nature, you know, just experiment a little. Little do we know, you could turn off your iPods, radios and amplifiers and still be surrounded by a symphony that's bigger than our wildest dreams.
Inspired, the early humans crafted instruments out of nature too. Bones, wood, skin, metal, stones, and even the caves were used to produce music. It is remarkable because it shows that listening to the music they heard around wasn't enough. They were captivated and wanted to experience it more and share it around. It's amazing how it's said that prehistoric people gave more effort and precision in making their musical instruments compared to daily objects. The musical instruments were more complex than hunting tools. Shows how significant music was even during these times. Ini daripada generasi yang terdahulu uh. Di mana dia turun, temurun, temurun sampai lah ke saya Dan saya akan kekalkan kepada generasi baru Selep uh. daya yang saya boleh Saya ini memang, alat muzik ini memang unik Until now, we are still using instruments that are made up of nature's elements and that are remarkably similar to the instruments of the older times. But what's cooler is that there are instruments made to imitate exactly the sound of nature. Throughout history, music was used in so many ways that brought people together. It was used for devotion or worship, celebration, festivities, war, folk songs, also known as music of the people, patriotism, and so much more. It is a clear sign that music was about and for the people. According to Dr. Daniel J. Levitin, Music created strong bonds between the early humans which allowed the formation of large groups and eventually society as we know it. Music had the power to generate a high-spirited and united environment for mankind. It kept us going and growing together. I'm lucky to have found a group of people in this day that gave me just that feeling and purpose. Drum circles have been going on for a long time, um, mainly to bring people together to celebrate life. And that's what really music is about, I think, to celebrate life.
one drum, um, one rhythm, one community, one beat. Basically bringing people together, playing drums together, creating music together. It's all about teamwork. With teamwork, you can do anything. You can climb mountains, you can touch the sky, and you can create music together. This is one of the very few places in KL where you can mix with all different kinds of people from all over the world, uh, not say a word, but still feel connected as human beings. And I think that is a really uh, good thing. I'm just left in awe from this discovery of understanding and knowing music even more. You know, music at its basics. In other words, music at its best. Music was given to us through nature. And it's not just nature as in greens and, and animals, but it's our surroundings and the natural state that we are in. Music is in the environment and it makes the environment that we live in. I mean, try to imagine life without music or simply just imagine this video without music. It's, it's just not right. We're emotional beings and music is a powerful necessity and tool to help evoke and release emotions. And we're not the only ones who need music. Even all creation needs music to express what's inside. At the start of this discovery, I thought that nature was the source of music when I realized that it's not. Nature was just a reference and an instrument for us to make music and to fall in love with music. But music must have come from a way glorious source to reveal magnificence. It just blows me away and you know this discovery just shows that music is so powerful and so beautiful and so magnificent and um, it should be appreciated even more this day and the environment can't live without music. <laughs>